Contenders news last week kicked off with Blizzard announcing that Contenders Korea Season 2 will begin on July 4th. In the meantime, trials start on the 16th, so be sure to keep an eye on those games to see who will be joining Season 1's Top 8 in Season 2. With dates confirmed, it looks like teams are still making some increasingly last minute changes to their rosters before the tournament begins. After Detonator Korea released its Pacific Champions team a few weeks ago, its players and staff have been picked up by various Korean contenders teams in the fallout. Detonator's main tank, Modern, has recently found a new team. It was announced at the weekend that he had joined his former coach, Sungwoo, at Meta Athena. Along with other new acquisitions, Sally and Recry, it seems Meta Gaming is hoping the team can reclaim some of their former Apex glory and avoid another season like their last. Meta Athena also announced last week that their support player Dismi would be leaving their lineup in order to play with BM Hawk. Dismi hinted on his stream a few weeks ago that he would be stepping down from Meta Athena's active roster for season 2 and concentrating on receiving coaching while streaming still under contract. Now it looks like he will be taking part in Season 2 after all, and likely making his debut with BM Hawk during the upcoming Trials. It looks like Foxes are also down a member, as it was announced on Friday last week that DPS player Adora would be leaving the team. The official statement stated Adora was leaving to pursue his dreams and that they would be searching for a replacement. And it seems those dreams have led him straight to another Overwatch team. Approximately two days later, Team 7 announced that Adora had joined their roster for Season 2. And in what feels like a callback to the Kongdu glory days, Foxes recently revealed their new uniforms for Season 2. The baseball concept is a nod to their role as the official team of the Korean city Incheon. While not quite as iconic as Panthera's sailor suits in my opinion, I'll reserve my judgement a little bit longer. Apparently the belts didn't arrive in time for the photo shoot. Hopefully they'll arrive by July. While discussing the start date for Season 2, Runaway's manager Flarevin also announced on her stream that Runaway would be adding a new player to their roster. No other details were given, just the promise of an update when the addition was confirmed. After a disappointing choke of LW proportions at the start of the Season 1 playoffs, Element Mystic are putting it behind them and looking forward to Season 2. The team released a video on their official YouTube channel titled Redemption, covering their disappointing Season 1 finish, complete with morose filters, fade to blacks and melancholy slow motion shots accompanied by a solo piano. Things perk up in the second half as they promise to bounce back in Season 2 and claim the title that many argue should have been there since Day 1. A kind solo element mystic has subbed the video in English, so be sure to check it out. On a lighter note, last week saw a lot of off-season fun as Inven hosted an all-star series of death matches to celebrate Overwatch's second anniversary. Each of the three death matches held across the week had a different group of seven contenders players and one popular streamer fight over a series of five rounds. Round 1 was a free-for-all held in Petra to start things off. Round 2 was a Doomfist only Chateau Guillard, which was every bit as visually frantic as you'd expect it to be. Round 3 took us to Storm Arrow City with a Hanzo only Petra, and Round 4 was MC's pick. Whichever name the host picked from the hat dictated the hero selection. The match closed out with one last Petra free for all, a chance for players to make a final attempt to up their total kills in the match tables. All three games were a ton of fun and definitely worth the watch. Even though they aren't subbed, you don't need to know Korean to appreciate a good 8 rising uppercuts when you see them. It's also 100% worth it just to see Deathmatch Symmetra in the pro's hands. Trust me on that one. <laughs> if you haven't already, you can watch the games on the Team Invent Twitch channel. All three Deathmatches have been uploaded and can be found in the past broadcasts. And that's all from us this week. Be sure to check out our Twitter for more roster updates. And if you're interested in more Korean gaming news, be sure to check out our YouTube channel. See you next week.